Matt, what do we know about Mr. Deese? Well, we know that uh, he came from BMW and was very adept at working that company through the financial crisis unscathed. And he also, uh, it seems, uh, has worked at a company, one of the three German car makers that didn't cheat uh, with its diesel engines on emission standards. So because he came from BMW after the Volkswagen diesel crisis was discovered in California, he's sort of untainted by this whole diesel, diesel issue. Now, Mueller, of course, was made CEO from Porsche, and then afterwards, we found that some of the Porsche, Porsche engines also uh, contained um, cheat devices, although they, of course, those engines came from Audi. Uh, the whole conglomerate seems to have been tainted in some way, but Deese is the only one who's escaped that. Which leads to the question, Matt, I'm looking at the profit margin. It's climbed to 7.4% of sales last year from 6% in 2015, as you'll know, when the crisis hit. Why make the change? Is it necessary when it seems VW has, you know, has come off the rails? It's, it's a very good question, uh, Mark and Vani, and it's one that we don't yet know the answer to. It's quite unusual because Volkswagen is doing so well. The stock is up, I think, 30% over the last 12 months. The company makes a ton of money. They're spinning out so much cash that they're able to put together a $50 billion investment plan for the future of electric cars. Uh, it doesn't Really, uh, there isn't really any clear reason. Now, it should be said that Matthias Müller seemed a lot happier in his job as CEO of Porsche than he does as CEO of Volkswagen. But, of course, that was probably a much easier job. It's a much more profitable car company. They don't sell as many. It's not as massive. Volkswagen's the largest car maker in the world. But this just seems odd. I mean, the way the company announced it was incredibly disorderly um, for a German company announced that they were even considering changes in the CEO job. They didn't really make it clear if that meant uh, considering changes in his duties as CEO or replacing him as a person as CEO. They're not answering uh, calls or questions about it right now uh, or about what they plan on doing Friday at the supervisory board mm -hmm. meeting. So it's, it's a very disorderly transition, and the, the, the question of why just hasn't been answered yet.